Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Frontier Pilot Simulator. Our ship isn't doing too well, we've, we've got a fair bit of damage and we need to get to a place where we can repair. There's some more over there, but yeah, I don't know if... It's probably pretty heavy. I think the closest one is this big crater. Uh, so we're definitely gonna go there. What do they require? Carbon constructions and structural frames. I don't think that's uh, something they have over here. No. <coughs> this is some kind of a mine. So, anyway. Let's get over there. Uh, we're going to use their Y. So we've got fixed thrust on. We're going to change to airplane mode. And we're going to go full throttle here. And just use the runway. There we go. Also use the flaps. There we go. Lovely. Oh, that. Oh, there's a passenger there. Well, unfortunately. All right. So where do we need to Sometimes go? Sometimes I really oh, yeah. miss my fiance. Wish I can bring her with me. My sister had an engagement last night. Uh, it was hell of a party. That. Ooh. I did check. Um. Walk together. Walk together. I did check the controls, and there is a yaw control as well, but. I don't really know what to uh, bind it to because there's so much stuff. I could also bind the uh, AR vision thing. Uh, to Y, for example, but then I wouldn't have fixed thrust on anything, so I don't know. Maybe maybe start? No, that goes back to the menu. See, there's so many things. I don't know. It's a little bit confusing, but oh well. Let's uh, slow down a little bit. We don't need to use that much thrust. So we have a little bit more of a... <coughs> little bit more of a leeway with energy. And our ship is hurting. Unknown object. Would help if she uh, told us where. lovely music again so come on we're still climbing I don't want to climb I know I can just uh, disable auto leveling but there we go if it's gonna level no that's fine we're going quite fast 244 you can see up there on the uh, Speedometer, uh, indicated airspeed, I suppose, is 330. I'm not sure what that is. 351, I think. I think 330 is like the maximum cruising speed, and 350 ish would start causing damage, I believe. Come on. Turn. Turn. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, let's. Uh, reduce thrust because we're quite fast in fact I'm going to reduce thrust even more <coughs> and I will bleed some speed and swap it over for uh, I mean I'll bleed some altitude and swap it over for speed if we need it oh it's past that little hill it's in that crater what? Is it so windy we're being pushed to the right? Okay, you know what? No more thrust for now. Yeah, we'll be fine. There we go. No, don't need that at the moment. Alright, there's a big crater. 36% for flaps. Let's just go over to VTOL mode. Full power because we are losing altitude at the moment. There we go. Oh, come on, game. Don't be like that. Yeah, optimization is uh, pretty high on my wish list for this game right now. Look at this place. That looks so cool. I do love the fact how they added details and such to the various bases around the map. Like I said, I'm really surprised that this team is just plodding on, you know, just saying, well, we didn't do the we didn't get the Kickstarter, but we're still going to do this. 
I love it. I love the determination. And I really hope they... They make it. Because this is... Awesome. Hello, my name is Frank. We have a big construction project here, and your uh, help would be welcome. To start, bring products needed to buy the big crater mine. I'll let you know once a new task is available. Big crater mine. So that's the... Oh, that's this one. Okay. Uh, what do they need? They need carbon constructions and structural frames. That's all there at Ragler Transit. Okay. Nice. Well, first of all... Uh, let's go and repair. Not really sure why I parked here. Oh! Is it coming here? S the spaceway? I don't know. <coughs> slowly, slowly does it. Yeah, it's going to be awesome if they actually implement a proper air traffic control and other um, other traffic. That thing, that little tower with the lights on the left here you see, with the tiny landing pad, that's the emergency escape pod landing pad. So if you ever get uh, destroyed and you're nearby this place, you'll, uh, it'll automatically take you here. Alright. go inside, repair, recharge, maybe get an upgrade or two, if there's something good available. We've got 82,000, I mean, that's <laughs> that's pretty nice. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, so let's uh, service and repair in the meantime. 653 credits. So we've got baseline tendered. You mean standard, probably. Oh, that's what we already have. Double G cycle. It's 50% extra consumption and 50% power. The use of a double G cycle based around the night banger <laughs> principle allow the engineers at Paul Gears to raise the bar for power in their flagship uh, L Barbarian engines even higher. In addition, a branched ventilation system has increased resistance to dust and bad weather conditions. Oh, and these are for the Polena. Now the problem is, these are night. Whoa! 22,000 credits for this. These are nice, but the consumption is quite high, and we would need to buy uh, better batteries for this. An innovative design by the engineers of the Emilian Corporation, OBS Gargoyle Cargo Fasteners, secures f uh, secure fragile loads without significantly increasing overall aircraft weight. Uh, details of the functionality of the device are classified. So you c even get extra capacity. But of course, one and a half tons extra. Yeah, there's nothing... I could, I could get these, but I don't know if it would be a big effect on power consumption. Obviously, at full uh, chat, it would be. But I don't know. You know what? Let's try it. I mean, I can always just use less thrust. <coughs> and let's recharge. I love this recharging effect. It's so cool. So where's the new engines? Are they going to be red? Uh, nope. But they are pretty darn big. Darn. That's huge. Alright. Excellent. Let's get out of here. We're all repaired. Recharged. We've got giant overpowered engines. <laughs> well, look at those things. They're a giant. All right. So we said we need to go to Raglar Transit. What do these guys need? G-type batteries and water. Uh, so the G-type batteries are the ones we I think can get there. No, it's a power plant. Okay, so let's get go to the power plant. Do that. See where this guy wants to go. Most likely not to the power plant. Where do you want to go? Please tell me regular transit. That would be great. Quarry M and T. No, that's where we just been. And for some reason this again. All right, let's go. Let's see these engines. Oh man. Oh man. That is a lot of power. I feel like a scarab now. Woo. 
Oh, that is good, but look at our power reserves going down. Oh, this is so nice. See? These ones do the uh, glowing right, see? If I go to, like, almost zero thrust, full thrust, they don't pulsate, they just glow. Look, we only need 183-ish power to stay uh, in the air. How you doing, ship? You doing better? We should name our ship. I'm gonna call her Betsy. How you doing, Betsy? Good now? Fil oil filter change, new engines. Um, Let's land over here. Don't overshoot it. Yeah, these engines are great. I mean, we'll see how they perform with heavy cargo, but this is excellent. Warning, high levels of ski. Four tons. Okay. <coughs> right. So now... Yeah, let's go to the map. So now we are going to Raglar Transit over there to bring some of that stuff I want. Wait, let, let me double check. Raglar Transit. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Which one is the most profitable? It's Zephyr. Hmm. Should we go to Zephyr then? Let's see. Uh, Zephyr is 22,000 and regular transit is 17,000. I really like what they did with this UI. It's so much easier now to decide where to go. What does Zephyr have? Oh, it's the, uh, can see cockerel and such. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. No, we're just gonna go to where we need to go. Uh, regular transit. Yeah. All right, let's get over there. Oh yeah, where does this passenger want to go? I don't think they really want to go that far, regular transit. It would be nice for a bit of extra money, but I don't think uh, that's where they do want to go. You, you see that orange uh, craft in the middle of the screen over there? I believe that's either a military one, Scarab? Concord. No. Again, this. Uh, or one of those repair drones. There's. If you get stuck with no fuel or whatever... Oh man, we've got four tons on board and... This is how easy we can uh, lift off. This is awesome. Alright. All right, let's do this. Oh jeez, this thing, these engines are insane. I love it. Alright. Change over to this. Don't need that much power. Not even close. Let's do a little more so we gain our altitude. There we go, come on. No, no, no. I'm overcorrecting. I want to get a little bit of uh, altitude there. There we go. So now, at around 120 thrust, we can go 130-ish kilometers. Well, it's going down quite fast. We'll see how that goes. No, no, no. no, no. See, I, I pressed Y for the... Oh! Mycelium. Sample of mycelium. That was interesting. What was that? I gotta gain some altitude here. There's a lot of stuff. Ooh, what is that? Like a tornado? Let me get my radar ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay. You see that plume of smoke? I think that's some kind of a volcano or something. Whoa. We do not want to go there. Or through that. I think we can just skirt around both of them. No, no! Bloody hell, what am I doing? See, 
again, I wanted to go to the radar to turn off, uh, turn on AR mode, and it was already out of that menu. That's quite annoying. Well, if we could go up above the ski level, um, we could actually make use of the wind there, but uh, it's radiation, so it's gonna bust our radar. Yeah, we do not want to be here. Let's go around both of these and hopefully not get any damage. <laughs> okay, now. This is so cool. This is so cool. I love it. Look at the shadow. Oh, man. Wow, this place is a lot different from a few years... I mean, a few years... From like a year ago when I last played this game. It's much more detailed, much more varied, looks much more natural. The formation of rocks. What is that? What the hell? Interesting. Yeah, they just need optimization. <laughs> oh, the shadow is so cool. I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited. I love stuff like this. I hate the fact that nudging the stick left and right gently now it doesn't control yaw anymore it seems. It just starts rotating the craft. I mean uh, not yaw, rudder. That's what I want. Rudder. Just to change my direction a little bit. But still, this is much improved. Uh, where's the ski ceiling? Uh, like two kilometers, I think. Yeah. We gotta be careful. I don't want to go that far. Oh, 76 kilometers. We're we're in half charge. We'll make it. We just want to point towards it, not away from it. Come on. Turn. We're actually turning away from it. Jeez. I don't want to go that high. This is so annoying. Give me my rudder. What if, what if I do this? There we go. Uh, well, no. It does seem to... Yeah. That does seem to uh, get the rudder operational, but... Doesn't quite work as it should. See, there you go. Okay, I'm just gonna be really gentle with it. If I hold the left trigger, or is that the left button? No, it's the left button, and then be very gentle with the stick. Alright, 30 kilometers to go. We've got 70 kilometers range, but we'll need some energy for uh, VTOL mode as well. Cyclone is approaching. Oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's great. Oh, jeez. Come on, we gotta get to the landing pads quickly. Yeah, there's quite a bit of wear and tear on Betsy here. But, uh, that's why we do regular checkups and maintenance. Ooh, that expected range is going down quite quickly. I don't like this. Unfortunately, now we're over open ocean, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Brace for severe turbulence. Right. Oh, jeez. I don't like this. Give me my radar. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, oh, jeez. We want to go below that. Bad weather. But not actually crash into the ocean. Three minutes of this thrust remaining. Oh, we're gonna cut it close a bit. Are we cutting it close? Alright, let's start reducing thrust. No, come on, give me my rudder control. Oh, 
geez, that does not look good. That's, that looks excellent, though, visually. Oh, they've improved on that a lot. That is cool. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, geez. Oh, great, and we're going against some really strong winds as well. Oh, jeez, one. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know. We need more speed. Come on. Oh, jeez, we're being thrown about. Come on. Just gotta land over there. It's my speed, 95, it's okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? We'll be fine. Alright. Oh, crap! What's going on? Oh, sh I was looking at my charge going just out, and I forgot to uh, turn off the uh, thrust thing. Okay, well, we're fine. Price is averted. More or less? We still gotta land. Come on. Look at that, we did this in one go and we're uh, running on fumes pretty much. Alright, let's just land. Oh, this was not the best landing! What the hell? The altimeter was already showing me where we pretty much landed. Woo! That was interesting. That was interesting. Alright, you know what? We're gonna repair first. And then we're gonna continue next time. That was, uh, that was an interesting ride. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye-bye.